hello guys welcome back to salesforce and i'm channel did you ever wanted to query all fields of a salesforce object if yes then this is a video for you um so in uh, whenever you have any object uh, for example account and for which you wanted to query all of its fields it sometimes uh, becomes difficult um, to write an sql query right so i'll show you uh, how you can do that so let me go to the dev console here which i already have opened in this window so here is a query editor we have so if you wanted to query all fields uh, for example from account object then you can simply write select fields in bracket all uh, from account and you have to give a limit of uh, some number of records because if you don't give a limit then it would uh, not allow you to do that because the fields uh, function must have a limit clause uh, in order uh, for you to select all fields from that object so and then again you cannot give a limit more than 200 in this case uh, so this is just a simple way i wanted to tell you how you can query all fields uh, from an account uh, although this is not very intuitive here um, obviously you cannot read which field is what because it's very small here so there's another way i can show you how you can query all fields uh, with proper field names so let me log in here in pack magics and i have logged into pack magics and i have selected data export um, so here you can select any any of the objects um, to write a sql query for which already selected few uh, fields here so let me remove those and if you wanted to select all fields of account uh, let me select the object again for you so this is account and it would refresh uh, the fields for account so you can see there are around 75 fields in the account which i can query and if you wanted to see what are those fields you just select all, all those fields and add to fields section and now you can see uh, what type of field it is and um, uh, what is the field name uh, api name of that field here and it would also bring those uh, fields separated by comma in the sql fields um, uh, section so here you can see all the fields uh, separated by comma uh, with custom and standard fields uh, one good thing about uh, the fields function is that you can actually use that to to see only a standard or custom fields also right, which i can show you here uh, but apparently this may not be useful uh, if you have I think it's not accessible in, within Apex, so it's better uh, to use it um, uh, only um, in some cases. But it's not working in all the cases. That's what I saw in the in the in the Google uh, blogs when I saw this. I, I have not personally used this, uh, but I just wanted to let you know this something exists in Salesforce which can be used. Uh, but if you know something more about this uh, you can uh, always um, put into comments so that others also know about it i've never used it uh, personally but i just wanted to show you how you, how this works so you can select all custom uh, fields also uh, in the query and if i go back here um, so if i wanted to see all standard fields um, definitely those are the fields which are um, those standard fields are without uh, underscore underscore c and um, the 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 custom fields are the ones which have the extension underscore underscore c so it's very easy to select only custom fields versus only standard fields in this uh, tool pack magic so uh, again uh, the same thing is available in salesforce workbench as well if you wanted to see that there um, but i just want to show you this and uh, how you can select all uh, all of the fields for a given object in salesforce uh, also um, on top of this if you don't want to um, have any hassle of selecting the fields for a given object and you want to see some sample data 
uh, for example if you want to take a backup of all the fields and all the data in particular object from your sandbox then there is a tool here which is called as uh, data backup so for example uh, let me try to take a backup of uh, all of the contact object records so when I select this it should show me um, how many records that contact uh, object has uh, so in case you have custom objects you can select that here custom object and it will show you how many total uh, records it has and uh, once I am sure that these records are um, not too much uh, for example not more than 100,000 records then I can uh, definitely start a backup of those uh, uh, for, for that object uh, you can definitely uh, backup uh, even if it's greater than uh, 100,000 records uh, but it would just uh, download uh, randomly those 100,000 records um, skipping other records so let me download this uh, using start backup and it will show me the batch status um, like what is the backup status and uh, what is the records number of records processed here so this is in progress now should be complete in any time because it's very small number of records here and once it's uh, completed I think it should sh uh, download it automatically yes so it's downloading this file automatically onto your uh, computer so this is going to be my contact object uh, backup results CSV I can quickly open it in my LibreOffice since I'm using Linux in your case you can open it in uh, Microsoft Excel yep <clears throat> so this is the backup file I've downloaded um, so this is the easiest way to to take a backup of uh, any object and it's all of its records uh, with all of its fields so you did not have to select any single field all custom fields and all standard fields here and one good thing about this is it will also give you some more information in case of uh, any lookup fields uh, let me show you uh, how that is done here if I see created by or updated by information yep so you can see last modified by created by name also here which is uh, pretty cool because um, in case of workbench or uh, any other SQL tools you, you would have to write it by hand uh, manually you have to type it right uh, which is the owner's name what is the created by user's name normally in the backup you would only see the ID of that created by person created by ID and not actually name so this is automatically adding it uh, so that in case you are referring the backups it will be easy for you to refer it going forward so this is why uh, this is what I wanted to show you how to query all fields um, um, in two ways uh, using data export and data backup uh, from Packmagic's uh, tool and also I wanted to show you how you can do this using developer consoles fields function using the arguments as all or custom or standard so thank you very much for watching this video I hope you liked it uh, just uh, let me know in the comments area if you have any feedbacks or comments about it thank you very much bye